Hello and welcome to My Own Magic Reviews. My name is Mike My Own, but this is not a review. Nope, instead today I'm going to show you how to make something. In fact, we're going to learn how to make two out envelopes. I'm going to show you two different ones. Of course, there are a whole bunch more, but these are the two that I make and that I use. So uh, we'll show you this one that looks like a, a sealed envelope and this one, which is not a sealed envelope. Both have, um, both do the same thing, two chambers um, and uh, they just look and work a little differently. You can make whichever you like. But how would you or how, what would you do with a two out envelope? Let me show you. Well, one idea. Hi, Barbara. Thank you for agreeing to participate in another little experiment. Uh, this one involves your imagination, and I know you have a good imagination, so what I'm going to ask you to do is imagine that inside this envelope are the four queens, the queen of clubs, the queen of spades, the queen of hearts, and the queen of diamonds. W what do you prefer, black or red? Red. Red. Okay, so we'll leave the red queens in there, and I'm going to take the black queens. Just imagine that I'm taking the black queens out of this envelope, tossing them away. Okay. So that leaves the two red queens, the queen of hearts and the queen of diamonds, left in the envelope. Now I'm I'm going to throw another. I'm going to throw one of those two queens away. Which should it be, the queen of hearts or the queen of diamonds that I throw away? Throw away the queen of diamonds. The queen of diamonds. All right. Imagine. I'm taking the Queen of Diamonds and I'm tossing it with the Queen of Clubs and the Queen of Spades. Have you done that? Yes. Good. Okay, so now you're going to imagine that inside this envelope is only one queen, the queen that remains, which is, of course, the Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts, but you don't have to imagine that. You don't have to imagine that because watch this. Reach inside, would you? Oh. Queen of, Queen of Hearts. Well, thank you very much for the help, Barbara. Well done. Well, obviously I used Equivo to narrow it down to the two red queens inside the envelope. Um, and um, Barbara could have had me toss either one uh, leaving the other queen in the envelope. So um, had she said uh, toss the Queen of Hearts, for example, well then I could have just opened up the envelope and she could have reached in and pulled out the Queen of Diamonds. To make the envelopes, you're going to need some supplies. You'll need some magnet tape. You'll, that's if you're going to make this one. You'll need some envelopes. I use number five coin envelopes. You'll need some Elmer's glue and, of course, a glue stick. Now, we're going to start with the manila envelope, which looks like it's sealed on both ends. Notice the envelope on the left. That's the uh, gaffed envelope was smaller. And notice that the tab at the bottom is larger. Well, that's because you can open the envelope from either end. Either end is the top of the envelope. Both, there are two chambers. When you open from the other end, you open the other chamber. Now, to make the envelope, you're going to need two envelopes. Put two envelopes together and trim off, well, trim off the bottom up to the end of that tab. Put one of them aside and trim the sides off the other envelope. That's going to leave you two pieces of paper, one with a tab on it, the other with the seam. Get rid of the one with the seam and you'll use the one with the tab on it to stick into the other envelope that the bottom has been removed from. Now, turn it a uh, gummed side down and glue the insert to the back of the envelope. When the glue dries, put them together and remove any excess glue. Turn the envelope over and now you're going to glue the insert to the seam side of the envelope. Again, let it dry and remove the excess with a rubber cement pickup or rub it off with your finger. Use the glue stick now to make it look like the envelope is sealed. Now this has to be repositionable glue because you're going to open the envelope. Put a mark so you remember which end is which. 
And now you have two chambers. On the other end, you would open, and that would have the other billet, card, prediction, whatever. Now the envelope looks seen, and it looks sealed, and depending on which, which one you need, you open that. Now I, I do want to show you a little bit, uh, just a close-up of the gluing part. Uh, so when you start gluing, you're going to start by gluing. Here's the insert, right? Okay, we put it in this way, but you want to start by gluing this piece on the back side of the envelope. The, uh, the insert here, this insert, has to be glued to this side of the, the envelope, the outer envelope, okay? Then once that's dry, we go to the other end, and this one's a little tricky. Don't do this one wrong, because uh, you won't, you'll have uh, one chamber. Um, you want to glue this piece, this section, the one with the seam on it, to the insert over here. So that'll be glued in, in this manner. All right, so this piece, I put the glue will go in here, and that'll be that. And then, uh, then you, obviously, the glue... The uh, reposition will glue here so you can seal it up and you'll be you'll have this when you're done and it will look like whatever they whatever one you whatever one you need to open you're just gonna you know make it look like you're opening a sealed envelope you're leaving here the, the glue separating and you open it up there's only one card in there or it seems so and what's good about it is because it's repositionable glue you can use the envelope again. Now let's take a look at how to make this envelope. For this one, you're going to need the magnetic tape. It uh, also has two chambers in it, but you access the two chambers from the same end of the envelope. Take one envelope, uh, you're going to make a, an insert. The insert just trim all the edges of one envelope. So you have to trim the sides, the bottom, even the tab off the top. So you're going to wind up with one piece of paper that's a little bit smaller than the envelope. And that's going to be the divider that separates the two chambers. And you're finished with that. You'll have two pieces. Get rid of the piece with the seam. Now cut a small piece of magnet tape, something just a little bit smaller than the insert or the divider, and attach it to one end of the insert. Cut another piece about the same size, and this one you're going to put inside the envelope. I put it, I attach it to a razor blade so that I can position it carefully before I actually uh, lock it in place with pressure. Once it's in place like that, the, uh, the razor blade comes off pretty easily. Now, take the insert and put it magnet to magnet. Just push it in, there's the divider, and it will attach easily to the magnet on the inside. So now you have two chambers, one towards the seam side of the envelope and one towards the back of the envelope. And depending on which one you need, that's the side you open to. What's interesting about this envelope is because it's set up this way, um, if it's the front part, the part with the seam that you're looking for, you can actually have the spectator open the envelope because it will naturally open to the, um, to the front part or the seam side of the envelope. So there you have it. Two, two out envelopes, which you can make one, you can make both. Um, and um, they're pretty easy to make and they're pretty handy. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, I hope you'll share it. I hope you'll give us a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, boy, I hope you're going to, and I hope you're going to do it soon. And when you do, you'll see a little bell icon. Uh, hit that bell icon so you'll be reminded or at least notified the next time I post a review. And until the next time I post a review, well, well, go make some magic. <laughs>